Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and de or delete the database for uh, XDBG analysis. So every time you do an analysis using XDBG, XDBG will create a database of the analysis for that particular program. So sometimes you want to delete the database to start from afresh from clean so that it will not interfere with your subsequent analysis. So for example here I've, I'm doing an analysis on a program and now I want to restart the analysis so I need to delete the database. So as you know XDBG has got two versions the 32-bit version and also the 64-bit version. So those versions each have their own respective database. So in this case, I'm using the x32dbg. As you can see down here, this is x32dbg and this one is x64dbg. So I, I will show you where to find the database for your x32 and also where to find the database for x64. So to find it, you must first determine where your x32 or x64 is installed. So different computers install this in different locations. For my PC, my x32 and x64 dbg is installed in my C drive under, under programs. So I just have to go and look for that programs. Program files. And here you can see under C program files, I installed mine over here. Yours might be in a different location. So once you found it, just open it. Okay, for your case, the name of your parent folder may not be x64dbg. Mine is called x64dbg because I renamed it to this uh, folder name. So for your case, it might be different folder name depending on how you rename your folder when you install it. Sometimes Flare VM also installs it with some default name, so you have to find where Flare VM installed it. So Flare VM can install it in different locations, so you need to find it. Sometimes it will install it in this location, uh, Tools, under Tools. So you need to go to Tools and then look for your XDBG here. Sometimes it might even install it here, inside your flare folder under utilities or even under uh, debuggers you might see your x32 here as you can see for me this is the shortcut so i can right click and then open file location and then here it takes me to the x32 dbg installation location so as you can see if flare vm if you are using flare vm and it installs it for you in this location so once you go there you can see a folder called db. So inside db, if you open it, you can find all your database for your analysis. So all you need to do is select everything in this db folder and delete it. Delete it. That's it. You need to close your xdbg before you do that, which I forgot to do. So it, re it recreated the database as you can see. So I delete it again like this. Delete. Now you do the same thing for x64. So you go back to the release folder, click x64, click on a database again. If there is any previous analysis, the database will be in here for x64. So you just delete them as well. So if your flavor, if your x64 or x32 is installed somewhere else, then you need to find out where it is installed and delete it accordingly. So for example, uh, if mine was installed in program files, which I mentioned, I got two versions of x64. This is the, the second version. So my second version x64 is installed in my program files under this folder x64 dbg. So I open it, look under release, look under x32, and there is my db folder. So I go in and I delete everything in here, and then go back to release, go back to x64, and then go to db for x64 and delete everything in here. So after you delete it, you can have a fresh 
you can start analyzing your program again from fresh from zero so this is how you delete all the database for your xdbg uh, in uh, debugger so thank you very much for watching i hope this helped you guys out thank you